What's going on, everybody? Here we are, another episode of the eBay Way, where I show you how to make money, just starting with $50. Oh, sorry, that's $50. <laughs> today and yesterday, man, was, today's the 19th of December. Yesterday was the 18th of December. Sales are way down in the pooper. I don't know what the hell is going on. I do know the closer you get to Christmas, people go out shopping because you can't get it through the mail. But sales have been so bad, especially today. I called just to make sure that they went over my account and made sure nothing was wrong because I usually sell, I think it was averaging 65 to 70 items a day. When I called about six o'clock, I had 25 items sold. And I'm like, that don't seem right. And uh, another weird thing is, let me see where we're at now, but on my promoted listings, I mean, they, they're they just sinking. I'm at literally an all-time low for promoted items sold today, even though for the last month, I doubled my percentage of promotions, of the percentage. So it's just been, and I didn't understand that. I called him like, is there something wrong with promoted listings? What's going on? And well, I don't see nothing wrong. And I'm not just saying this, but you are one of our top, top sellers. I mean, you're great on everything. So there's no reason we'd be suppressing you. And I'm like, I know, I don't, as far as, I just want you to check. And I explained to him and he's like, I know eBay has issues. So I totally understand. So. He supposedly looked into it, couldn't find nothing. So I'm just hoping it's a slum with the, uh, which is the sales because we're so close to Christmas. And I do have less new toys and stuff this year. I got more used clothes and stuff where I've been concentrating on. So I understand that, but I got, I have a, not, I've got a pretty good amount of used or new uh, toys that didn't move. Uh, this holiday, this fourth quarter, which kind of surprised me. So, and I've been lowering the prices even and putting them on sale and promoting them and at a crazy percent. And I don't know, kind of weird, but I stressed about it most of the day yesterday. I stressed about it most of the day today. And so I went shopping <laughs> when you're not making money. What do you do? You go shopping. So I am pushing close to my low end goal. My low end goal every day is 700. My high end is a thousand. I may, I got an hour and 15 minutes left in my day, 10 p.m. to 10 p.m. I may just make it. I may just be under it. So I'm thankful it's definitely better than yesterday when it comes to the money value, but the number of items are way down. So it's crazy. I've only sold 13 promoted items today. Yesterday was 16. The day before that was 28. 38 the day before that. And I average, looks like around 30, uh, 30 a day on promoted listings items. So to have 13 just was, is numbers were way off. So, so we're going to get into what's sold. Um, I went out today, went shopping had to do something to get change of pace because I've been stuck in this room just listing. So I had to get out of my own head. Um, I was like, I'm only going to go over and spend like 50 bucks just to get out, find some hot items, quick flips, high dollar items. Just spend a little 50 bucks to make up for my bad day. And I ended up spending $172.50. $172.50. I know I was supposed to stay around 100 I went a little crazy, but they kept bringing stuff out. And I'm like, Ch -ch -ch. I kept hanging around for that one big item. I'm like, they got to bring it. And then I saw this guy with this old vintage stereo with speakers and everything. He had it. And he's running to the cart, trying to make sure he don't drop it to go find a cart. And I'm like, damn, I missed it. He got that right from under my nose. So he ended up checking out. I kind of followed him a little bit, kept an eye on him just in case he put it back. He didn't. And then, uh, so I just started hanging out by the doors, back doors and stuff, and just kind of 
looking through, make sure I didn't miss anything, kind of looking up some different stuff that I normally don't look up and things like that. And they finally pushed a card out. So I grabbed a bunch of stuff. And then the one guy carried this one item out. I'll get to my best item today. And when he's when he when I saw that, I'm like, snatch. And I'll get to that too. But uh, let's get to what's sold. Um, we sold. So if you remember correctly, last time I spent $53.50. That was five days ago. Uh, we made $338.49 back in those five days. So down a little on average per day. But that's all right. So let me flip this around and we'll get into what actually sold. All right. So here we go. Uh, do you remember a couple of episodes? Maybe even last episode. I don't remember. Uh, got those new pants. Actually, this pair, I think, was from an older episode. Uh, this was Harbor Bay uh, jeans. Brand new. I pay $5 for jeans there now. It used to be 4 uh, They sold for 15 So that's that. And then this one was from either the last one or one before. Because I got the big boy jeans, 50 by 30s. I got two pairs of these Nautica and they both sold, they, the same person bought them both. So it was $44.98 for both of them. So $22.49 a piece. I paid five a piece. So pretty good there. Cool little vintage Carolina Panthers tee. Paid $1. Sold for $15. Just a simple cardinal tee. Sold, or I paid $1. Sold for $7.75. These are, was the first uh, Tommy Bahama shorts I've ever bought. Uh, I don't remember what shorts are there. I think $4, but I'm not 100%. I don't remember. Uh, these sold for $19.12. Got these Under Armour. Girls' shoes. Shoes were $4. And I sold these for $25.49. Those nice clean Converse, four bucks I paid. I just took an offer for 12 bucks on them. Move them quick, made a little profit, and the person got a nice deal. This cool little Bobby Jeep. I think I paid three for it, if I remember correctly, and sold for $14.99. I was surprised that sold that quick. Uh, the Wu-Tang DVD. Wu-Tang. Um, the Iron Fist Collection. I think I paid two dollars for this, sold for $25.97. And if you remember, this pair was the pair the employee brought out to me last time. And I she brought me more out today, and I thanked her, thanked her, thanked her, thanked her for bringing these this pair out to me. Uh paid four dollars for them, and they sold almost immediately for $53.99. I probably priced them a little low, like I'd stated. I could not find this particular style anywhere. So I was afraid to go too high. I definitely didn't want to go too low. So I put them at 59 and then threw a sale on them. And so they immediately sold. At least I got all my money back basically just on that. So I was content and hopefully somebody got a good deal. Red Hot Chili Peppers tea paid $1. This one sold for 7 that vintage Samsonite. I don't remember what I paid. Five, six, maybe? Somewhere in there, I think. Sold for $34.99. St. Louis Rams vintage sweatshirt. Sold for where is it at? Uh 13 bucks. I probably paid four bucks for it. So I took an offer just to move it. Some of the A6 women's shoes. I've uh, paid four dollars, sold for thirty nine twenty one. Sorry about the sniffles. And then we got Star Wars toy, like twelve inch figure. Paid I think one or two dollars. I don't remember what, and sold for ten. Got one of my new pictures up, or one of my old new pictures. And apparently this is St. Louis. I looked up this. And it's a, everything that says this hat company was in St. Louis. So apparently this was downtown St. Louis, which is kind of cool. I love 
kind of looking at these old pictures, just seeing just the whole time and error that, that it was. So I try not to think about the negatives involved in that time period and just try to take the picture for what it is. So, all right, let me flip around. All right. So let me flip the page here. So with those items sold, it, we beat, we uh, hit over the $3,000 mark finally. So almost to the $5,000, um, halfway to the, halfish way to the $6,500 that I want to get to. So we were up to $3,092.34. Spent $172.50, which brought us back down to $29,19.84. So let me close some of these windows just in case. I didn't I haven't listed this stuff yet. I'm still in the bag, so I'm just going to go through it. Wanted to knock this video out tonight, and then maybe get this stuff listed tomorrow. So let's get into it. Got a lot of unique, different types of stuff today, so it's kind of cool. Um, let's just start with this since it's right here. Pet flies. Let me see if I can move this. I moved everything around today, so everything's kind of different. Um, cool little. It's airline approved pet uh, suitcase. And tough to do with one hand. It's nice and heavy too. Uh, you got a little blanky, a little binky that matches the interior. And got the carrying strap, awesome. There was one listed just like this, only it didn't have the extra strap and the little binky. Even has the chain, so you can put your little your little Tinker Bell in here. Your little Kitsabu, Kitsabu. When I was a kid, we had a couple of stray cats we fed, and I named the one Kitsabu. So that's where Kitsabu comes. So kind of cool. Uh, one not with all this other stuff was they were asking like fifty bucks for, or forty bucks, fifty bucks. I don't know, whatever. I paid up for it. Paid fifteen for it. I thought it was five, but it was like hidden behind one of these, and I didn't move it. It actually said 15. I'm like, all right, I can still make some money on that. So we're good there. I've always been grabbing these. When, well, this was St. Louis All-Star game. So um, these, ah, they cut you. Thankfully it didn't, it just hurt. Um, these are, I forget what they're actually technically called, but they're tens for a newspaper for the pressing of the newspaper. And... I've sold two Cardinal ones, and this is St. Louis Post-Dispatch. I've sold two Cardinal ones. That's loud. Uh, when they won the World Series in 2011, I think it was. And I, what did I get out of them? I want to say I got like 30 bucks a piece, somewhere in that neighborhood out of them. So when I saw these, and they're from, this top one was 1985, and it's Los Angeles Dodgers, National League Western Division Champions, and that's just kind of cool. If there's none of these up there, I mean, this could, technically, did they win the uh, championship that year? Let me I'll try to get the rest of these open first, and we'll see, maybe. Looks like there's like four of them here. Let me do this without hurting myself or the tens. God, I wish I could remember what they're called. Ooh. Shh, my dad's sleeping. Be quiet. Get all that racket up in here. I paid two dollars for these. Let's see what we got. St. Louis Globe Democrat. That's not around anymore. That's been gone for a while. The bottom line, kiss it goodbye. I'm not sure what that's referring to. All right, we got the Dodgers, which is this could be huge money, especially if they won that year. I'll have to look it up to see if they won that year. Uh, oh no! Let's 
So we got two of them. Okay, funeral notices. That's kind of cool. Still 1985. Just seeing if anything jumps out at me. No. And then just another random page. They're not one sided. So, probably not too much here, but those two alone should be pretty decent. I'll have to figure out what they're called and see if they won that year. Um, I got bags and stuff all over. Let's just go with this first. I grabbed these. I couldn't find them on eBay, and I, I only paid three bucks a piece for them. So, I'm like, I'm just going to grab them. If I take a loss, I take a loss, but I don't think I will. Because these are just freaking 80s all the way. Look at the, got the splatter type paint going on in there. Very kick-ass colors. So this was the Junior Mini Light. So what I'm going to get out of these, I do not know yet. I'll have to look on Worth Point and other places to see if I can find these, this particular style. So other ones, just plain ones, were going for decent money. So I'm like, come on. With these colors alone, I, I should be able to get a minimum of $20, if not more. So um, I've really been digging into these lately. The last two rollers I've got, they sold immediately. Uh, I don't remember. I think we were on this video. 20 bucks, 25 bucks, somewhere in there, I think. I paid uh, five bucks for these, I think it was. Four or five. And they're going for like 40 to 50 and not with this style of box. This style of box actually looks newer than the ones on there. So I might even be able to, be able to squeeze more out of these. I don't know. I'll have to look and see if they're still on the shelves and things like that. See if they've been discontinued, et cetera, et cetera. But a minimum of $40. So that's a good one definitely paying more attention to these branching out a little bit oh let me move this stuff here been doing a little cleaning today trying to keep my mind off of the crappy sales okay these are nothing big probably paid four for them Probably not gonna get too much out of these, but got the cool Sam Stan Smith Adidas kick-ass colors. Uh, I didn't look them up. I just grabbed them since they're only four bucks. Some cool. Hyperventum soccer shoes, I believe, right? So, pretty cool colorway. Just Gel Flux 2, ASIC women's running shoe. What else we got you here? How did they open the door? I had the door closed. Let me close this door. The dog just pushed in. What's up, puppies? What's up, puppies? You guys turning doorknobs now? Huh? <laughs> they must be getting smart. How did, how did you get in? I know what. I'm going to have to listen to this and see if I hear a doorknob. If I heard a doorknob on there, do you hear a doorknob? You guys aren't that smart, right? No, you couldn't. You got paws. No? <laughs> uh, BOC is the brand. Born, Borno Concept. I don't know, pretty cool looking, unique. 
shoe. Jan went with me. She said she looked these up. So I don't know what they're going for. She said they're going for more than $4. So I'm not sure. I haven't looked those up. So I'll put them in the store if you want to look. Probably put them in tomorrow. But uh, Some Nike flip-flops. Not in bad condition at all. She grabbed these. She said she looked them up too. Uh, Jennifer Lopez. Kind of cool colors. I love that combination. So hopefully these will be good. Somebody was trying to get $12.99 out of them. But let's see what they go for. I told her to run to the shoe section while I checked the goods section. So she bought these two. Bella. So hopefully they're good. We'll see. And then she goes, what about these? I don't know. It says Nike Air on them. I'm like, Nike Air? That's that brand I've been selling. Uh, what you call it? Uh, now I forgot what it's called. Uh, is this a different one? This says a G series. What is it? This just says G series. So, is there another brand that's using the Nike Air now? Let's see what I know, huh? Nike Air G series black letter. So they're made by Nike, then, huh? Yes. No. I'm confused. G series Nike Air. Women's shoes. It's a totally new world to me. But, uh, hell, there's a pair not as fancy as these that people are asking $64 for. Damn. Yeah, Kohan. That's the name I was looking for. These got to be Kohan, right? I'll look. I'll look deeper into that. Kohan G-Series. There's the exact pair. $54.95 sold. Sold for $54.95. Jan found these. Judging. I have to let her know. Good job. No doubt. Very nice. Just with three things alone, I should be pushing 300 bucks just on three items. Now that I found out these are like 55 bucks. So good stuff. It's weird when I do this, I feel like I know what I'm doing. And then I have sale day like this, and I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like a double-edged sword. I worry too much. But see, I still, when I started this business, I put everything on credit cards, personal credit cards. I've got one business credit card. Everything else has been on personal for 18 years. So we're talking with a bank now about getting maybe a line of credit opened up and get everything pushed so I'm not because I'm spending I'm wasting money on uh, interest and all that and it's just not a smart way to do it and I've just been doing it stupidly I don't know I've got good you know uh, good enough uh, not equity but what you call it uh, I can't even think what it's called damn it your inventory, your, not equity, your collateral, collateral, that, yeah, I think that's collateral, got, you know, good, perfect, you know, not perfect, but excellent uh, numbers when it comes to credit reports and stuff, so it shouldn't be a problem, so finally going to start doing something, just being a little bit smarter and just caring a little more, I guess, and stop being so carefree like I used to be, so, this video's going on forever, huh? Ugh. Now, Jan picked all the jeans out. I go, make sure you look them up because the last couple of times she got some flops. But she found some, uh, this ain't one of them. This is Natural Reflections. It's kind of cool. And, uh, I don't know if these are, we got a couple of uh, vintage pairs. I don't think that's one of them. I'm not sure. 
I didn't look that one up. I looked a couple up just to make sure. I didn't look these up either, but Texas jeans. I don't know. I'll have to look those up. I don't know. Here is one of the vintage pairs. Brit Britannia? 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 <laughs> As every time I pronounce something wrong, how many people out there are pronouncing it the correct way? Um, so, uh, cool. I looked these up. They were going for decent money, too. I don't remember offhand what they were, but... Yeah, I don't have a clue. I don't even remember, so I can't inform you on that until I list them. And, uh... I didn't look these up. I hope she did. Copy jeans. I don't know. Yeah, this just makes me. Oh, no. Hopefully, hopefully it's good. Oh, and I didn't look this up. Damn it. And it's moving to Waterford Crystal. I grabbed it because it's heavy and put it in the cart and forgot to look it up. Metropolitan clock. What it feels like now that it's taped down, is it's moving a little, so I don't know. Well, maybe it's not supposed to be attached. I'm going to look this up real quick, because I know nothing about it. I always look at clocks, and first thing I do is flip them over, and if they have that cheap plastic thing, I put them right back down. I pick this up, I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? Oh, the clock's coming out, too. I guess is that supposed to be? Maybe. I don't know. Um, picked it up. I'm like, whoa. And then looked it over. I'm like, huh. So, oh, I type in water for crystal. And a bunch of stuff come up. So let's go under clock. Oh, yeah, yeah. 2015, 15. These are all different looking clocks. Here's one like this but without the black base for 1350 made in Ireland that's a pretty elaborate one went for 75 but they took an offer on it all right so I paid five dollars for it so I'll see if any's listed as of right now I might push it up to about 25 bucks and see what happens that's cool. Oh, pull my back out there. Oh. Uh, I didn't look these up. I hope she did. Angels. Hmm. <laughs> this must be the other vintage pair, right? Yes. I looked these up. They're called Braxton stretch jeans. And I think I found a pair that sold for like 30 bucks, just like this, only this was just a tad bit different, different color and stuff. I think it was 30 bucks. So that's pretty good. And then there's part of it. Another part must be in another bag. Yes. They brought a card out. So I'm going through it. Another lady's going through it. And I start grabbing all of these. And of course, she sees me grabbing them, so she grabs one, puts it in her car, and I'm like, go. That just irritates me when you're like, at, we weren't even at the bins. When you're at the bins and you're grabbing something that they brought a lot of out, and somebody don't know what they are, don't care what they are, but they see you grabbing them, they're like, oh, I'm going to grab them too. And then they usually end up throwing them back. So I followed this lady, follow this lady, and I ended up leaving before her, but I was just watching for her to throw them back because... I just expected it. I didn't look these up. Like I've said before, I like buying collections. This was clearly somebody's collection. They're just like felt. And I didn't, I just took a quick glance, but didn't see no name. But then I just started grabbing them. So I don't know yet who makes them. Or anything about them so I got that I didn't even check the other ones well, I didn't really check any of them to be honest with you. like I said I was just grabbing them and and she grabbed the others are smaller in a baggie and she grabbed one of the baggies I'm like oh, why 
Why, you don't really want that. Oh, there's a toy concepts made in China. So maybe not too much then. It's just, I don't know. But I figured collections are better than just one. Because it takes time to put a collection together. So these were $2 a piece, these big ones. Oh, got yellow clothes and black clothes. And then... So I paid for five bucks for this bag full. So just a bunch of different ones. I got more than I thought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this bag. They don't look like any any brand names or anything, but. We'll see. We'll see. And then another bag paid five dollars for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them in there. So two, four, six, sixteen bucks into them. So hopefully that wasn't a bad deal. Came out on a cart. I'm like, yes, grab that. And the card is nice on this. I was just a little info on toys like this. Sorry, I'm just being very careful pulling this tag. I paid three bucks for this, and I didn't look it up. This is going to be either a hit or a miss. Reaction. is the brand that redid a lot of these figures. They did Back to the Future, I think like Terminator, or Rambo or something. A lot of those 80s style uh, toys. But they had a problem with the glue coming undone on these. When I bought the last batch, I bought like tons of different uh, toys like this. And the glue was coming off on a lot of them. I think the... I wish I could remember. I think one of the Back to the Futures, maybe Doc, was the most expensive one that I got some decent money out of. So that's what I'm saying. This is either going to be a hit or a miss. And let's see. There's asking. Let's see what they're selling for. Eh, about six bucks. Six to eight dollars. So, hmm. I'll make something on it. Not much, but something. I can't leave something like that behind. Even if I knew I was only going to get seven bucks out of it, I'd still grab it for three just because it's something I like to have in my store. Oh, but oh yeah, and what I was going to go on to about, here's one that's uncirculated. If you watch, did I do that? I think in one of my eBay late night videos, I talked about having, a, having them certified. There was one of these uncirculated without the punch taken out. Uh, graded at a 9.0, sold for $125. Now, if you do find one of these and they're in perfect condition and the hole punch is not out, you're going to get more money. So never push that out. If you find the toys, keep that in there if it's there and make sure it stays there. Be very gentle with it. Uh, and then look it up for, especially look at, uh, to get it certified. See if it's worth it. I don't know how much something like this would cost to certify. It might cost like 80 bucks. That's, I think, about the average of stuff. So 80 bucks for $125 return probably wouldn't be worth it if it was perfect and had everything in it. I probably wouldn't go there. But if it only costs like 40 or 30 bucks to get it certified, it'd be worth it. But uh, there's a little intel for you. And the glue looks fine because it's not retaped or anything, so that's good. Whoa, horsey. All right. Uh, paid four dollars for this. Uh, 
I can't. So I paid four dollars for the CD alarm clock Memorex, and I think they were selling for like thirty, if I remember correctly. And so I found another Barbie vehicle, as you just saw. The Jeep sold for fifteen. So I got this cool little. This one's from like eighty, ninety-eight, ninety-eight, and uh. Sells for about 15 bucks also. So pretty spooky. These I did not look up. This is from 1973. Vintage Jigsaw puzzle, because puzzles are only like 50 cents there. So sealed from 73. Definitely gonna make some money on that. That's cool. And then, this one I probably should have looked up, but uh, it's only 50 cents, I'll make something. Where's Elvis? Instead of where's Waldo, and it's sealed. So, so it's pretty cute. If you wanted any of me, I'm curious about that one. Where's Elvis? Spell it right. Where's Elvis puzzle? One sold new for $12.99 free shipping. And that was an auction. So of course I'm gonna go up. There's 22 asking free shipping, $8, $21, $10 asking. Eh, so I'll probably put it up for about $12.99 or so. Let my sale kick in. Now, this, I searched the store over to try to find the, how dare you, try to find a charger for this. And yeah, come on off. So I paid $2, and with the charger in great condition, they sell for like 100 bucks. So this one does have some wear on it. Come off my finger. So, there's no charge in it. So maybe they're gonna have to do an as is, or I'm gonna have to see if I can find a charger for it cheap and test it, because then I can get closer to 100 out of it. So I'll probably do that, sit on it, keep a look, or maybe put a search thing in for eBay to notify me if I can find a number or something on the charger and see if I can get a charger cheap for that. Probably gonna be the best way to go. Okay. Oh, it's $177. Got a lot of stuff here. Of course, the best will be last. All right, what else I got? So, this got a Winnie the Pooh Disney tree topper. Their Christmas was half off, so I paid $2 for it. They were selling for like, I think, $15 to $20. So. These were not up there. I paid two dollars a piece for them because I started looking at other stuff when I found that pet air container bag. And then these are South Southeast Missouri Red Hawks bowls, dog bowls. So water and duck food. So I figured somebody will buy these. I paid two bucks a piece for them. I'll try to get at least 10 bucks a piece. Maybe put them in a lot for 20 bucks and see what happens. Wait for a diehard Red Hawks fan who also loves their puppies or their kitties. Or they make their children eat out of these. Whatever is your fancy. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to judge you. Well, I guess I would if you forced your kids to eat out of a dog bowl. Now, if your kid wanted to eat out of a dog bowl, I wouldn't judge you. If it's clean, I mean, it might make a good cereal bowl if you think about it. Maybe I'll keep these. All right. Uh, uh, classical CD. 
This place I found, the last CD I bought from there I found, it's been a while, before I started this video series, was a good rap CD. Where I pay? ended up selling it for a couple hundred bucks, I think it was. I don't remember who it was now. I don't remember. Uh, this one's going for about 20. So it's classical. Peace. This I found... Valerie Stevens, it's like a croc leather, croc print on leather. It's a jacket with matching skirt. Now just, I, I couldn't find anything like this on eBay. So what I did is looked up her name, looked up black skirt. Uh, just black plain skirts are selling about 15 to $20. So I paid seven bucks for this. I'm like, well, I can't, I can't lose if her just plain black ones are going for seven. I got the jacket and it's got the croc print, print, pet print. I'll do more research. I'm hoping around 50 bucks. We'll see. And Jan found this one and looked it up. Bell Ford exclusively for Saks Fifth Avenue. Like a shirt and sweater jacket combo piece. So she looked it up. I don't remember what she said they were selling for. So we'll see. And in the last two pieces, this is cool. Little CD player jukebox. I thought about keeping it because I wanted to set up a CD player in here finally and a cassette player, but I'll go ahead and sell it. Um, I didn't notice this crack. I paid 12 bucks for it. So I paid out for it. Um, I looked it up. I wanted to say around 50, but that might have been the new ones I looked at. I don't remember. So I'm, let's just call it 30. So double my money, maybe, which I don't like doing, but something this unique, um, I had to get it. Just it could bring different people in my store. And then last but not least, was this nice piece here, Panasonic VHS DVD player. I have not tested it yet. Paid ten dollars for it. Only ten dollars. Um. Did a quick search while I was there and was seeing they were selling for around 200 So I'm like, I'll take a chance at 10. I'm going to plug it in because I'd have to break open the bag. But it has the remote and everything, all the cords. And they were selling for around 200 bucks. So stay horsey. So that's the good. And if they took that good care of it, I'm sure it works. So we'll see. But it has the HDMI and everything. So this is... When you get a, when you find a DVD VHS player, all of them can go for good, not all of them, but a lot of them can go for good money. But when you see how clean and crisp and clear this is, and when you pick it up, the weight of this is way beyond the normal cheap ones. I knew there was something here. So even if it is just a Panasonic, but the fact that it's got the hi-fi stuff going on. Yeah, hi-fi, it's got the HDMI. I mean, quality right here. I don't know if it's a burner or not. It is. DVD recorder. Ah, even better. I didn't even see that. So this is, you can probably record from VHS to DVD. I do have one of these set up for me. Well, it's not set up. It's in a box. So I can try to get some of my old VHS tapes from us growing up, hanging around, playing around the city and goofing off. I want to get them to DVD and I want to get them online and put them on YouTube, but... All that stuff's packed away, and I really don't have no room to do it. I need to do it before I die. Let's just say that. <laughs> uh, so, good find. Good find. So, that's it. Should make some good money from this. So, I'm glad I'm going to get this stuff listed tomorrow. And hopefully, it'll, this different array of stuff will spike my sales back up. Because, literally, since we've been standing here... Since I've been doing this video, what, almost 45 minutes? 
I have one item sold for $3.88. And that's, it's just not normal. It's not normal. It's making me stress out, man. All right. Uh, I think I covered everything. So thanks everybody for watching. Like, subscribe, or don't, or play tiddlywinks. Dink. I used to play that as a kid. I like that game. What's wrong with tiddlywinks? Why can't why can't we play a good game of tiddlywinks? Instead of going out and being mad about politics, why don't we just throw down in a game of tiddlywinks? Oh yeah, I got practice. Haven't played in 30 years. 30, 40 years probably. <laughs> I'm going to have to look for that game. All right. That's it. Thanks everybody for watching. I'm going to go watch some TV and relax after I get this thing uploaded. So thanks everybody, later.